It is a beautiful day out. The humidity has dropped. That has made a world of difference. The plan for today is to get the standard antennas, test them out at that half mile and one mile mark on analog only, see how the comparison goes, and check out the results that we get. Quick point of note, if you're not aware on the wildfire front, we have just hit PL5, which is the highest our country can go. So after the canine course on July 31st, I'm gonna hit my available button. And at that point, I'm assuming I'm going to get sent somewhere across the country uh, for a wildfire deployment. So if I go away for a little bit on YouTube, I'm not disappearing on you guys. I just have probably gotten called out to somewhere where there is no cell service. I do have a couple of videos planned to do. So we'll see how that goes. It'll be time permitting, but I do fully plan on uh, taking advantage of the opportunity and still getting some work done, even as I'm out doing some other type of work. So with that, let's get this going. You know, it's just occurred to me, we really haven't had a completely successful test of this equipment. We're currently looking at the top, very top of the Chesapeake Bay. This is where the bay ends and the Chesapeake, Delaware, or C and D Canal begins. The canal is 14 miles long and connects the mouth of the bay to the Delaware River, cutting the Delmarva Peninsula, providing a shortened shipping path or route from the northern and European routes from the Atlantic Ocean to Baltimore and sees approximately 25,000 vessels a year, making it one of the busiest canals in the world. Okay, so for today, we are comparing the OEM antennas, which I personally feel are the most important to test because for operational purposes, these are really the most practical. So let's get into this test. Okay, OEM antennas, half mile range. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Half mile range on the XTS 5000. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Half mile range on the XTS 5000. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing half mile range on the XTS 2500 on the OEM antenna. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing half mile range on the XTS 2500 on the OEM antenna. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing half mile range on the MTS 2000. Half mile range testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing half mile range on the MTS 2000. Half mile range testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing half mile range on the XPR 7550 OEM antenna. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing half mile range on the XPR 7550 OEM antenna. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five on the Sabres OEM antenna. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Half mile on the Sabre. Testing one, two, three, four, five on the Sabres OEM antenna. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Half mile on the Sabre. Testing half mile range on the HD1 OEM antenna. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Half mile range on the OEM antenna. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing half mile range on the HD1 OEM antenna. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Half mile range on the OEM antenna. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five on the Apex 7000 half mile range. Testing one, two, three, four, five on the OM antenna. Apex 7000 half mile range. Testing one, two, three, four, five on the Apex 7000 half mile range. Testing one, two, three, four, five on the OM antenna. Apex 7000 half mile range. Testing one, two, three, four, five on VHF on the HD1. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five on VHF on the HD1. Testing one, two, three, four, five. 
testing one, two, three, four, five, half mile range on the HT1000 VHF. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five, half mile range on the HT1000 VHF. Testing one, two, three, four, five. And for the Balfang 1701. Testing on VHF on the Balfang, half mile range. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Half mile range on the Balfang. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing on VHF on the Balfang, half mile range. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Half mile range on the Balfang. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Okay, with that done, we have a good line of sight. We did the half mile, should give us a good base. We're gonna push this all the way out to a mile and try it again from there. Okay, we're at the one mile mark. We're gonna go ahead and go back to the OEM antennas, of course, starting on UHF first. Testing one mile range on the OEM antenna, XTS 5000, testing one, two, three, four, five, one mile on analog on the XTS 5000, testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one mile range on the OEM antenna, XTS 5000, testing one, two, three, four, five, one mile on analog on the XTS 5000, testing one, two, three. UHF on the MTS 2000. Testing, one mile range, MTS 2000, testing one, two, three, four, five. UHF, MTS 2000, testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing, one mile range, MTS 2000, testing one, two, three, four, five. UHF, MTS 2000, testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one mile range, UHF, XTS 25,000. Testing one, two, three, four, five. One mile on the XTS 2500. Testing one, two, three, four, five. XTS 2500, one mile range. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one mile range, UHF, XTS 25,000. Testing one, two, three, four, five. One mile on the XTS 2500. Testing one, two, 345, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 
four five. Apex seven thousand. One mile range testing one two three four five. One mile range on the apex. Successful test. I guess so. With these tests, this is just to reiterate, this is more about what you can expect with your HTs. Again, simplex communication from HT to HT. Some people have been getting in the comments and they're saying, you know, hey, this doesn't make any sense. I can hit a repeater that's, you know, 15 miles away from me. Well, yes, and you can. This repeater here is roughly about 12 miles away. And this will hit that no problem, but that's more about that repeater's location than this radio. And all we're looking to do in these tests is specifically address what you can expect or what I can expect out of these radios, HT to HT on simplex with no help in between. So I'm definitely happy to get the data on those results. I think testing the standard antennas, you know, those antennas roughly between six and eight inches is the most practical and the most relevant because for our, you know, daily operations, that's going to be our go-to antenna. The one thing I did forget, I have to remember for a future, that XTS 2500, for whatever reason, I don't know what's going on. I need to, again, see if it is a antenna issue or a radio issue. So I said I was going to do it last time. I forgot. I need to leave the black one at home, bring the tan one with me, and see if the range is just as short or to see what is going on with this one. As has been our historical testing data, it did seem that the UHF got through a little bit clearer, had a little bit more punch to its signal. However, I will say the VHF antenna on the HT-1000 at one mile, this sounded just as clear, if not a little bit clearer than all of the other UHF radios. So I don't know if it's the HT-1000 or if it's this Motorola VHF antenna, but this performed really, really well. Another thing, again, still performing really, really well is the XPR 7550. Their stubby antenna really, really kicked butt and we did the stubby antenna testing on UHF and this UHF, you know, whip style antenna specifically for the XPR did a really good job. I just want to also address that Apex 7000 has performed historically poorly in all of our tests, despite the size of its antenna, because I mean, really it is the largest standard antenna out of all these radios that we're testing and it always seems to perform somewhere at the bottom of our results with that i was kind of concerned i pulled up the cps i was looking it shows that as vhf 800 megahertz 700 megahertz it was locked in at one watt i went to one of the radio techs tested it and confirmed that it says it on the cps but it was actually putting out 5.36 watts so the power is not an issue i just don't understand why that radio just does not perform well on simplex on vhf i hope you enjoyed this video i certainly love making these videos i like getting out there testing my comms equipment more so i hope you got something useful out of this video either for your comms preps your communications plans whatever you're doing hopefully you got something out of it with that future planning i think the next thing we're going to do is get back out on the water and do digital modes so we're going to look at p25 dmr Put them on the water, see if there's any difference at all, or see which one just performs better than the other. Very practical for, you know, current radios. A lot of them are coming with digital modes. I personally love digital modes. So again, good data to have. The fact that all of these radios made it to the one mile mark just makes me think, hey, I'm going to do this again, but we're going to maybe start at one mile, push out to a mile and a half and two miles and see where the results lie. So until then, this is just a reminder. I'm probably going to be going away next month uh out on deployment so if i disappear i'm not leaving you guys i just am unable to upload videos i am planning on filming some content while i'm there to bring that back some radio related stuff some medical related stuff so i'm looking forward to that i'm going to take advantage of my time but until then i'll see you next time be safe <laughs>